guys, it's Janine and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a college life hacks video with tips, tricks, advice, and just things that you need if you're going to be in college or if you are currently in college. And I've done one of these videos before, it had a bunch of advice and just things I wish I knew before college and I'll have it linked down below for you guys because it has plenty more tips and tricks and advice in there for you. And hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it very beneficial and let's just get right into it. Okay, so what I did whenever I was in college is I would always make sure I joined a Facebook group for that class. And if there wasn't one that was already made, I would make it and send it out to all my classmates so we could all collaborate together, ask each other questions, share notes, start a Google Doc. And this was extremely helpful. I always encourage everyone to do this, is just to get in the Facebook page, start a group or find the group, and that way you guys can all collaborate together. And the next tip within this one is when you are looking for an old Google Doc or just help with maybe like a quiz or a test or just advice, what I would do is I would go to the old Facebook page from the last semester or the last year and you just search your class, search the year that the class was, and then you can just search on that page and usually people have a bunch of old Google Docs, notes, reviews for the exam, and just a bunch of helpful things that are gonna help you on the quizzes, exams, papers, or whatever you might have. So I always recommend you guys to go back to the old Facebook page and search on there and I'm sure you will find something very beneficial for your class that you're in right now. we all need for college is money. Money is a big deal and there was a time in my life where I genuinely thought I'm never gonna go to college. I'm the youngest of seven kids and my parents just couldn't afford all of us to go to college so I really thought that I was never gonna be able to go but with the help of financial aid I was able to go to college and I'm extremely grateful for that. So I partnered up with the National College Access Network and the Form Your Future campaign to bring you guys this portion of the video because I want you to realize that the opportunity and chance of being able to go to college is very much there. There's a 0% chance you're ever gonna see a pig fly, but 85% of students have a chance of receiving student financial aid. Those statistics are definitely in your favor and they were in mine too. So make sure you guys check out the link down below so you guys can apply for financial aid by filling out the FAFSA. It's free to fill out and I highly recommend you guys to do it because I genuinely don't know where I would be without that. The longer you wait, the less money you're eligible to get. So the sooner you do it, the better. So I really recommend you guys to do it and I hope you found this portion of the video very helpful. And thank you to the National College Access Network Work in the Form Your Future campaign for working with me through this portion of the video. The next thing is definitely take advantage of your planner or make sure you have a planner. Here's my planner right here. It's very much me, marble gold. So I knew people in college who would show up to class and all of a sudden the professor would be like, all right, take out a blank piece of paper. We're having a quiz. And they'd be like, we have a quiz today and not gonna lie, I've been there before too because I didn't use a planner. So definitely make sure you use a planner because otherwise you'll be that kid in class who's like, we had a quiz today. So make sure you write down everything, whether that's eating, working out, class, hanging out with friends, everything. I know you may think, oh, I have it all up in my brain, but sometimes you just don't. Your brain can forget things, it's natural. So make sure you really take advantage of having a planner. The next thing is to invest into a computer lock. If you don't know what a computer lock is, I'll insert a picture right here. And the reason why I say this is because sometimes you're in the library and you have all your stuff spread out, your snacks, your computer, your books, your papers, your whatever. You have everything laid out there. And next thing you know, you gotta use the restroom and you don't wanna pack that all up just go to the restroom and come back. And sometimes people in college are not trustworthy. I know this for a fact. People steal stuff in college all the time. So what you can do is get this computer lock so you can secure your computer so when you go to the bathroom, no one can steal it and your stuff will be safe and sound. You can come back and it's still gonna be there. So I definitely recommend you guys get this because you can't always trust everybody in college, unfortunately. The next thing I'd recommend you guys to do is to invest into a bike as well. If you had a very big college campus like I did since I went to the University of Texas at Austin, it was called the 40 Acres for a reason. It was massive. It took you forever to get from one side of campus to the next. Definitely recommend you guys to invest into a bike. That way you can be getting exercise, you can get to class early. But what I highly recommend you guys to do is make sure you get two locks for your bike. You wanna get a Sparley lock and then you also wanna get a U-lock as well and make sure you securely fasten and lock your bike because again, there are thieves, but I highly recommend you guys to invest into a bicycle because it's going to save you so much time and you can get to class quicker. 
The next thing that I recommend is searching apps that have deals and coupons and stuff for food. For example, in my college, we had an app called Tasteful or Tasted, and you would go in there and they would have deals and discounts on like the local restaurants, which helped me so much. I would get sushi and Thai food all the time on a discount. And when you have a college budget, you obviously always want to save money. So definitely try and see if your college has like a local app that has discounts on meals and things like that. So this will save you a lot of money in the long run. The next tip is using slug books. Now I'm not sure if everyone knows about this or not, but all I know is that slug books helped me tremendously when I was in college. Always before buying a book or renting a book, which you should always try and rent your books if you can, I always made sure I searched up the name of the book or the ISBN number, and sometimes I found the book for a dollar. Literally a dollar. Like so extremely cheap, and I got it for the whole semester for a dollar. So always before you ever buy, rent, or whatever your textbook, search on slug books, compare the prices, see whoever has it the cheapest, and then get your books there. My next tip is taking your easier classes at community college. Now, I knew a lot of people, especially freshmen, who didn't know this was really an option or they never thought about this. This is an option that's gonna save you a lot of money, time, and a lot of long nights crying over those papers. I know, they suck. What I did in college is I took my core basic classes or some of them at a community college like I went to Austin Community College and I took my government sciences there at the community college because they tend to be a lot easier a lot cheaper and you can get them in like a May semester or a winter semester or just something like a more condensed version so you don't have to do a whole semester of it you can do it in like six weeks you can just knock it out and then transfer it to your college but make sure your college accepts that class never just go and do it just make sure you talk to an advisor first and then see if your college takes that class and then take it My next tip is to always meet with your advisor every semester, the beginning of the semester, or if you have questions at the end of the semester so you can know which classes to take next. But meeting with an advisor is really important because they're gonna help you graduate on time, make sure you're staying on track, and making sure that you're in the correct classes that are actually gonna be beneficial for your degree. They can also sometimes get you into classes that you normally can't get into on your own. So what you can do is go to them and be like, I really, really need this class, and sometimes they'll just be like, I got you, girl. They just email the professor and then boom, you're in the class like magic or maybe the next day you're in the class. But sometimes they can do that for you. So I highly recommend you guys to be in good connections and good relationships with your advisor and go and visit them as often as possible so you guys can graduate on time and make sure you're staying on track and doing the right classes. My next tip is when you're studying to listen to music without words. You don't want to be listening to songs that have lyrics because, because they can tend to distract your mind because you're listening to the lyrics and you may be reading but then you're really like singing the song in your mind. So what I recommend you guys to do is listen to either just like instrumental music, piano music, classical music like that. Um, there's plenty of Spotify playlists where you can just type in study music and it'll pop up a ton of playlists that are really beneficial for you to listen to. So never listen to music with words because it really will just distract your mind. Instrumental music will just help you study and focus a lot better. So definitely try that out. Okay guys, so those are all the tips that I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any more tips so a bunch of other college students can read them, we can all talk about them, and just help each other out because I know college is tough. That's why I'm here to help you guys out. So make sure you guys leave a comment down below with more advice for others. And thank you again to the National College Access Network and the Form Your Future campaign for working with me on this video. And don't forget to fill out your FAFSA down below. Don't forget to do that. I hope you guys found this video very beneficial. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys next Saturday. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.